Hey everyone, it's Christopher Dean, and today we're going to set up your Mac to create Lottie animations by installing After Effects, Adobe XD, Sketch, Figma, a plugin called AX, and an extension called Body Moving. Sounds like a lot, right? So let's go. Okay, before we start, what is Lottie? Lottie is a native animation library created at Airbnb by design lead Sully Abdul Karim, engineers Brandon Withrow, iOS, Gabriel Peel, Android, and Leland Richardson, React. It builds on the work of Hernan Tarossi, creator of an After Effects extension called Body Moving. What is a Lottie animation? A Lottie animation is an animation created inside After Effects that is exported with Body Moving to a file format called JSON that is then playable inside your apps and websites via Lottie. And with that said, let's install everything you'll need to create your own Lottie animations. And all of the links we're going to need to install everything is going to be in the description of this video. So take a look there and we'll move on to step one, which is installing all the software you'll need. And first up is After Effects, the animation software you'll need to author your Lottie animations. And here we are at the After Effects page on the Adobe site. You can come up to free trial up here select that and then start your free trial by clicking on there. And from here, you'll enter your email to create an Adobe account that will allow you to install the trial. And then we'll move on to your design tool of choice, whether it's Adobe XD, Sketch or Figma. We're going to install all three of them, even though you may only use one of them. And that's where you're going to author the illustration that you'll then bring into After Effects to animate. Okay, with Adobe XD, you can start for free here. Okay, and you can see it's trying to start the Creative Cloud Desktop app. Now, I already have this installed, so I can manage the installation of any Adobe products that I have. You can install it as well, and then use that to install Adobe XD. And next up is Sketch, and they have a free trial as well. We're at their homepage, and we go down to Try for Free here, and select that. And they give you a 30-day trial. So you can download a Mac app trial here, or sign up for a team trial. And the last design tool we're going to install is Figma. And on their homepage, they have a Try Figma for Free button. So we're just going to select that. And since this is a web-based design tool, you create an account to start using it. And now that we've installed After Effects and your design tool of choice, we move on to step two, which is installing AX. Now, AX is a plugin that can quickly move your illustrated element or design from your design tool like Figma and Sketch right over to After Effects in about two or three seconds. A lot better than authoring something inside Illustrator and then exporting it and then bringing the layers in and then working with it that way. This does it really, really quickly. So we're going to go to the AX link and select download 0.7.8. And after we've done that, we move on to step three, which is downloading the Body Moving extension. Okay, and for that, we click on Body Moving ZXP and then come over here to download. And with that done, the last thing we need is the ZXP installer, which is going to help us install body moving into After Effects and also the AX extension that After Effects needs as well to grab the information you're sending it from Sketch and Figma. Now, Adobe XD doesn't need it because it can save directly to After Effects, which is pretty cool. So once you've come here, you can select download for OS X. OK, and if you've downloaded and installed the software you need, then you'll be at this stage where you have After Effects, then either Sketch, XD, or the desktop version of Figma installed. And you're gonna need the desktop version to use the AX extension. So once you've signed in, you can download it from the Figma website. Okay, and if we come up here, I've organized everything I've downloaded. And the first thing I'm gonna select is the AX Sketch plugin to install that. That's gonna open up Sketch and then install the plugin. There we go. Let's just go and see if it's installed by creating a new document, then go into Plugins, AX, Open Panel. There we go. It's got Send Selection to AE, Flatten Shapes and Detach Symbols. We'll learn more about that in future videos. And to install the AX plugin in Figma, we're gonna to need to create a document, then go up to the menu here, go to Plugins, then to Development, and then select New Plugin. Then we see this modal pop-up that says Link Existing Plugin. We're gonna click here to do that. And in the folder where I downloaded AX and unzipped it, we go to AX Figma and then select Manifest JSON and then select Open. 
and come up to the menu again, go to plugins, development and AX, we select that, then the same window that you saw in sketch will pop up here where we can send selection to A, flatten shapes or rasterize groups. And now we're set up in Figma, just like we are in Sketch. Let's open Adobe XD. And like I said earlier, XD doesn't need AX because it's an Adobe product. It can send its contents directly to After Effects pretty easily. And to demonstrate that, I've just got a blank artboard here. We can go up to File, Export, and select After Effects, and it'll send it right over. And the last thing we need to do here to be able to get AX to communicate from Sketch and Figma to After Effects itself is to install the AX extension for After Effects. Let's go do that. And to be able to do that, we need to install the ZXP installer. So the DMG you downloaded, just double click on that. Drag this from there to the Applications folder. Go to your Applications folder and run it. And if it gives you a security error saying it can't run, just open up Security and Privacy and select Open Anyway. Okay, let's just move it over to the left a little bit and move this over to the right. Then we're going to select the AX extension and drag that in. You can enter your system password here and select OK. OK, that's been installed. And while we're here, let's grab the body moving one as well and drag that in. Authorize again. OK. Now we've downloaded, installed all the software and all the plugins and the extension. Let's open After Effects and see if everything's working on that side. All right, and with After Effects opened, we just come up to Window. Go to Extensions, select AX. The AX window will pop up. So if you're moving something over from Sketch and Figma, you'll have your illustration there. You'll open up the AX panel there and then go Send to AE. And then it's going to pick up the settings that you set here and create a composition. Let's close that. Go up to Window again, go to Extensions and then go to Body Moving. Great. And this is working as well. So you would have a composition here that you would be able to see here, select and export it. You can preview and port a lot of the animations that already exist, which is pretty cool. Get the player reports and then annotations, everything there that we'll find out more about in future videos where I take all of this for a spin for you. Okay, and one last thing we need to do to make sure body moving can actually save to your hard drive is go up to After Effects, Preferences, then come down to Scripting and Expressions, and then make sure that allow scripts to write files and access network is checked on. And that's it. You're all set up with the software, plugins and extensions you need to start creating your own Lottie animations, which we'll be doing soon. And yeah, hope you're taking care out there, looking after yourselves and each other, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.